I don't know what they need to change except mentally continue to be as mentally tough as they've been throughout these playoffs. Against Milwaukee, they go down two games to none. They don't get rattled. They come back and win that series with four straight. They split in Golden or split at home early on. That a lot of teams might be rattled by that. They go to Oakland and they win two straight. I think their game plan is pretty sound. There were some bungles at the end of that game. I thought the timeout was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. I thought the way they handled the final play was poor. But I just think they continue to play the way they've been playing and don't let this rattle them. I still think they can go to Oakland and win that game six. Well, and that is the question. It's it, To me, the trophy is more metaphorical for how close they were. Right. And they felt it. They knew it. That's one of the reasons I didn't like the timeout at 305 was not just because it stopped Kawhi's run. It, it lessened the momentum of the crowd to a degree. It got it, into their heads. It gave, well, it gave the Warriors a chance to regroup, but it also gave the Raptors four minutes because it's back-to-back timeouts to have the moment set in of how close they were. Mm -hmm. I think it's one thing while you're playing, while you're going up and down to have that. You disagree, see? I disagree that athletes in the moment think like what you're talking about. D don't you think, tell me if I'm wrong, don't you think if, if any athlete's going to think that way, it's much more likely in a timeout situation than during a possession. I don't think anyone thinks while they're guarding Clay Thompson, a 245 till I'm a champion, but in a timeout, I don't know what Nick Nurse said to him. I don't know what, what the messaging was. If it was just close it out like we always do, or guys, if we get four stops, we're champion. And which we've seen guys on those those live films from after the finals where we see what certain coaches say to motivate their guys. Yeah, you know how we them. show the coaches then? Because then the footage backs up what happened. Right. But all the time, the coach is saying, let's stay in the moment. All right? You don't think about that. In that situation, Kyle Lauer was exhausted. Kawhi was exhausted. So for the first minute, what you're trying to do is get some type of hydration and be able to get your nerves to calm down. You are trying to do every breathing technique that you have, and the coaches don't meet with you immediately. They allow you to get your yep. stuff together. If you have something else to save them, they meet amongst themselves, and then they come in because this is what the coaches know. A player's attention span will only last so long. Mm -hmm. So you are in the moment. The Raptors have done everything almost the right way, even though they don't have experience, even though they've never been to the finals, even though we've never seen their coach in this type of position. So in that moment, athletes don't think that way. So we can't say that they blew it. We, what if Gasol gets a, a foul call with Boogie Cousins and he makes those two free throws? Those two points would have been crucial. They were down three at the time. But you are right. Do they recover from Nick Nurse not calling a timeout and getting a set play for someone besides Kawhi because you know they're going to take the on ball. On the final possession. On the it, final so, possession. So you think they should have called that timeout, the second timeout with three minutes left? I would have called a timeout. But is there, is there not greater value? Yes, Kyle Lowry was gassed. Kawhi Leonard was tired. But on the other side, I mean, you got Steph playing 40-something minutes, Klay Thompson playing 40-something minutes, DeMarcus Cousins just dragging out there who almost kicked the game away for them at the very end with some of the plays he made. I think there's more value in keeping the defense on its heels, especially when you're building some momentum there. You mean for the last possession? No, I'm saying for the last three minutes. The last three minutes. I'm saying don't minutes. call a timeout. Power through it. and Because I think they're equally as tired on the other end of the floor because they had to come back after that Kawhi stretch. I remember Brian Billick got criticized because we decided to take a knee in 19. 1998 and forced the game in overtime against Atlanta. But Brian Billick looked at me and said, Chris, what should we do? And I said, bro, I'm spent. I'm exhausted. And right now, I'd much rather regather ourselves. We are a better team and let's get to overtime. We're playing at home. After the game, we got criticized for it. But when he looked at me in that time, me getting a rest was the most important thing. Kyle Lowry, he wanted a timeout. Kawhi was just doing what Kawhi does. But he, there was such confusion. All right, and we know they didn't go on to win, but there was such confusion at the time, even though they had momentum. All right, I thought that that was the well, right thing to be able to do. Well, the, the best, and I think only defense of the timeout is exactly that. He was listening to his players. That Lowry clearly was wanted it in the moment. Now, it, to, it's not hindsight me criticizing it, because in real time, I tweeted out, I said, I can't believe they, they did, they called the timeout the Warriors 
wished they had. Like, the Warriors had used their second to last time out with five and a half minutes left in that game, so they couldn't stop this run. But again, it's all a moot point if they win, for, if they win on Thursday. It's all a moot point if they are able to go into Oracle and recover. I, we have seen a team take an absolute gut punch, the Ray Allen game. And that, the Spurs didn't win the championship, but it wasn't because they weren't recovered. Mm -hmm. They came out in game seven and played great. It was a two-point game with 35 or 40 seconds left. Duncan just missed that bunny where he slapped the court afterwards, couldn't believe it. So they were equipped to win that game. Miami just happened to be better. I think the Raptors have proven over 20 quarters of basketball, as C keeps pointing out, they are the better team in this series. The reason they would lose is if they can't recover from being that close to the championship. The reason why they're going to lose is because their guard play. If they lose the series because their guards didn't shoot the ball well. Danny Green absent two games. Van Vleek, we know. He got man, I, I'm surprised he didn't have a concussion. He didn't have a big game in game number five. So we need their guards to be able to play well, and all this other stuff is not going to matter. They have dominated. They have won 14 of the 20 quarters. For Golden State to have an advantage in quarters, they got to win all eight quarters in these last two games. That's how dominant the Raptors have been. If we're looking at everything that's on paper compared to, oh, man, I lost an opportunity. If Kawhi Leonard has level set this franchise the way we think he has, and the reason why we gave them a chance to be able to win the finals, you and I, then it will play out in game number six or in game number seven. And listen. There ain't no less of a championship if you win it in seven games no, of course. against Golden State, who's won three of the last four. So let's not get carried away. They lost one opportunity, but because they dominated the series, they have two more.